Thank you, Madam President. On the amendment, I listen to my colleagues, and I certainly have great respect for the people who are involved in this debate. But I'm, I want to come at it not from a completely different angle, but a slightly different angle. And I think it's, at least from my perspective, it's important to recognize this is obviously not something that happened in the last 24 hours. In fact, it's not the last 24 months. This is something that's been evolving for years in the making. And now we have this bill before us, and I'm sharing my personal opinion. I think this bill falls far short of where we could be and where we should be. And personally, I feel that this is more about the issue than about the resolution of the problem. Now, I've spoken at length with Senator Hannon, Senator Salan. We were in conference today, listened to compelling words from Senator Farley, and I'm sitting there thinking, why are we doing it this way? I'm standing here as a member of the Senate, but now I'm standing here as a parent. I have three kids. My youngest one is 16. And boy, I learned so much from them. And the thing I learned the most is how little I actually know, especially when it comes to technology. But my son Jake loved him to death. In the morning, the first thing you do, I go in his room, he's on the laptop. I'm trying to talk to him during the day. He's texting, he's on the computer downstairs. This is a world of technology, and both of my colleagues alluded to it at some length. We are divorcing ourselves from reality if we don't embrace this problem in its entirety. This bill is not nearly as good as the amendment. The amendment is more encompassing. It deals with cyberbullying because this stuff does not stop at the border of the school playground or the school building or the athletic field. And do I have concerns about the broad reach of that? Yes, I do. Do I think it can be addressed in a fair and equitable fashion to protect people, especially the victims? Yes, I do. Now, in this bill, too, nobody talked about another portion of this amendment, aggravated harassment of school personnel. Senator Salan, in his wisdom, has ratcheted up the penalties for people who abuse school district employees. Why not embrace that? Why not take this amendment, champion it, bring the bill back, and make it a better bill? Because I don't want to stand here with all of you, or maybe some of us, at some juncture and say, you know, now we're doing a chapter amendment on cyberbullying and we're reacting to four or five or six more incidents where it could be someone we know, it could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be a grandchild. I don't want to be in that situation. And ladies and gentlemen, we don't have to be. This is a solid amendment. This is a good faith effort to try and address a problem. And the fact that cyberbullying is not addressed is really a tragedy. And we're going to move to the main bill, and there's going to be a lot of plaudits, and there's going to be a lot of press releases, but it falls far short of where we should be. We should be doing a better job protecting students all across the state of New York. So yes, I am frustrated, and I think we all should be, because we're missing a chance to do something that's good and making it a lot better. I stand in full support of the amendment. 